All right, hi everyone. Um, I'm very excited about this right here. Um, okay, so it's nighttime as you can see, and I'm gonna get ready here. I'm getting ready to fly the Sky Viper S six seven zero X S six seventy for the first time at night. I flew it earlier, um, just a little bit. Um, we the the battery didn't last very long I mean it lasted under four minutes if anything but I'm not sure that it had a full charge so I charged it um, for a long time uh, it was on the charger so um, hopefully it has a full charge and uh, we are also gonna get um, an accurate estimate of, uh, of the time um, of the flight time for this copter too with this with this battery that it comes with um, about the battery I also looked for these batteries on Amazon uh, I couldn't find one yet I'm I, so um, but I'm pretty sure that I mean they, they'll come you know they come out with these um, they'll come out with something like this if it's not already out there maybe I just didn't couldn't find it um, as you can see I took the propeller, the prop guards, I took them off. Um, I might give it a try without the prop guards. That should also help the flight time. Um, so uh, just uh, also uh, another thing to point out um, is uh, if you're familiar with the Saima X5, um, and I'm sure others, uh, has the um, the propellers are geared so it has so it has geared propellers which means you know it's got the little wheel in there and and the motor turns the small wheel and the small wheel turns the big wheel so and now let's go ahead and put the battery in the copter there was a screw here that I removed because um, it was just an extra piece of something that I didn't think really was necessary. Uh, we'll find out. Hopefully, I this this little piece here that holds it seems to be really sturdy, so I don't think it's going to go anywhere. We'll see. All right. Um, so that's that. On this copter, um, you actually uh, plug in the copter first, and then you set it on a leveled surface, and then you turn on the transmitter. So um, we're going to do that now. see here okay cool and uh, you can see the red lights on the back green lights on the on the front and they're flashing so we're gonna leave put it right there okay and now we're gonna turn on the transmitter okay so I mean that was uh, an immediate bind um, the green lights quit blinking and uh, let's see let's give it a little bit of throttle okay okay there it I needed to go up and down or, or, or something and now it's now it, I saw the green lights flicker so it means it's uh, should be bound now yep it sure is cool so um, I'm gonna turn the lights off so that we can get a better uh, look at the lights from and uh, and just and try to fly it around. I only have one battery, so I'm gonna try to do that and then um, show the flips. So uh, I'll have this running the whole time to see what the battery time, ba the flight time is like. Okay, so I'm gonna do start. This is going on. Let me go. Okay, lights are off, and I'm gonna just kind of point the camera up there hopefully we can get a good view of it I'll try to keep it okay so right now that's on um, sensitivity mode one which is what they call their modes so um, that's what it looks like from the okay I'm getting up there I mean it's it looks like it's a pretty good night flyer um, I can definitely see it well I can uh, I can see it very well. So there it goes. Bring it back. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's small, but you can 
but it's it's an okay night flyer I would say um, you can definitely tell where the copter is and um, y you can tell uh, which direction it's going in the the problem I, I, I see whoops okay the problem I see um, is that it is small and it only has uh, four lights and the lights aren't very bright so once you get a little ways up it is somewhat difficult to see it's not as easy uh, now as far as flying outside it's doing great it's doing really really well um, I'm I'm gonna turn the light on and I'm gonna uh, try a flip Okay, so all right, so it's um, it's still on uh, mo mo sensitivity mode one, and oh, it's been about two minutes now. I haven't been flying it the whole time. It's been sitting uh, about half of that time. So let's uh, take it up there. Okay, let me just make sure I keep it in frame, and let's do the flip. Okay, that didn't do anything. Uh, let me bring it back. Okay, so I don't know to how to flip it. Oh, there it goes. Man, that is cool. Okay, so to flip it, you don't... you. Okay, to flip it, you press the stunt button, which is the button on the... On the on the top corner here on the on the left and then you press uh, whichever direction you want it to flip in so I'm gonna try to flip it forward so so there it goes it, it flipped forward I'm, let me see if I can do one keeping it in frame see so I mean it is really good on flips whoa that was cool um, it also I notice it tries to keep its altitude when it flips so oh I kind of I'm on the grass. Okay, give me a okay. So um, I was saying is um, it keeps its altitude. It tries to stabilize when once it flips. So you press the stump button and you go forward, and there it goes. It does really really cool. So uh, I'm guessing you could flip it. Let's see if I can flip it kind of coming this way. Whoa, that was cool. Yeah. So it does really good flips. Um, sideways and, and forwards and backwards hey you probably see that um, so really neat really neat now it has that uh the sensitivity mode the the two so let's go to two let's see it's it's fast it's faster now uh, we talked about the yaw earlier man the yaw gets faster each time that you um, that you switch uh, modes the the yaw gets faster. The yaw gets faster. So um, let me just uh, give it a little. Let me try to do a little mini funnel here. This is on. Oop. On, on mode two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, man, I almost lost it there. Okay, so no no funnels right now. Um, let's let's try that again. A little mini funnel. Well, nah. It's, okay, I'm not being able to do it. Um, so uh, and then it has mode three, which is even more advanced, um, and it has higher pitch, and it also has uh, higher. The yaw is crazy good. I mean, look at that. That is really cool. I hope it's showing good. Yeah, as far as a night flyer, it's okay, but it's but I mean I I think I've seen some that are better. Yeah, um, I wouldn't call it specifically a night flyer. Um, the other thing is I'm, I'm noticing is also the battery is lasting a lot longer. So it was probably my fault on the last flight. Um, it, it probably uh, needed to be charged a little bit longer. I just thought it would, you know, it was fully charged, but it wasn't. So, um, so very, very stable. I think 
both beginners and uh, advanced pilots would kind of like this. This is, it seems like you can do you can do a lot. It's just I'm I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing it um, at night. I can see the I can see the LEDs okay, but it's easy to lose orientation. Okay, it flickered right there, so it's losing battery. It's it's getting um, it's getting short on battery. So I'm gonna change it back to mode one and uh, just bring it close and see if we can bring it real close over here. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, there. The time that has gone by is about seven minutes. So um, you can probably, let's see if it has any juice left. Uh, so no juice left. I'm giving it full throttle and it's not doing anything. So um, it was sitting, you know, while I was talking to you guys, uh, I don't know, about maybe two minutes or so, maybe less, um, probably less. And it was up in the air not that long, um, around five minutes. But the copter itself is a good flyer. I mean, it is It is really cool. Um, it does really cool flips. Uh, I like the mechanism by which you do it, uh, that it does it. Let me unplug it here. Oh, turn it off here. I like the mechanism that, it, that you do flips because you, you press this button and then you go forward or you go back or uh, you go sideways or the other side and it and it you know and it flips so um, it's gonna be cool to just kinda have it going and uh, you know as you go just do a flip um, it's, it's pretty cool it's a pretty neat quad uh, actually uh, I'm surprised I'm pleasantly surprised I, I like it it, it looks like it's it's gonna be um, fast. I think I'm gonna rather uh, it's gonna be a good inside flyer. Uh, it's gonna be a good day flyer. I'm not really sure about the night. The LEDs are kind of small. Uh, had some trouble seeing it. So but that is pretty much it for now with the uh, Sky Viper S670. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, please sus subscribe to my channel I would like to do more reviews of quadcopters and uh, anything to do with drones uh, so you guys um, subscribe and hopefully I can have more stuff on there uh, soon till later